Hey, y'all. Uh, I know I didn't give a time when I was going to do my live. For me, that is just really hard because you never know what's going to happen. But doesn't matter. Y'all can catch up at any time. Uh, I'm having to use my phone because some of y'all know uh, we don't have internet service. And I'm switching companies, so uh, hopefully by tomorrow night at 7 o'clock I'll have internet again. Um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be foiling again. And this is Jennifer Ferguson from Artistic Painting Studio. She carries many different types of foils. And this is the one that we're going to be using here first. And then on the other project, I kind of have it in... Uh, so that y'all can see you don't we don't have to do the whole process and then this is the teal wow is that not just gorgeous so i did this several years ago uh, about probably about um 12 years ago on a jacket a blue jean jacket and it actually i washed it in a very soft i'm going to wash this one so that i can report to y'all of how it turns out so I will give you a sneak peek of the pants that I've already done. But if I do that, you'll have to not leave. You have to stay. These are what I did with the teal. And this was done with a stencil. Is that not just the cutest thing? So, that, and I'm going to do a blouse. But I wanted to go ahead and do that. And I learned something doing the pants of how to apply the foil. But we're going to be using uh, Jennifer's cross on the jacket. And it's the La Mesa cross, and it is an 8 by 12. And I will have all this info uh, once I get through it. Maybe after I have internet tomorrow night. So y'all just bear with me through this ordeal. Let me see this underneath there. And what we're going to be using is uh, Artsyville Heart Full Adhesive. Okay, and let me turn y'all down here where y'all can see. Okay, this is the blue jean jacket. And I've already got it in place. And what I do is I use the stencil adhesive spray and you want to hold the stencil out about 12 inches and spray the back in even. You don't want to hold it in one spot. You want to do it all over really well. Then you kind of want to let it dry for a little bit and then you get it into position and you just kind of push it down like that. See, that is really down really well. That way you won't have any seepage. And I have some of my products I have put in these honey bottles because of the arthritis. It's hard for me to unscrew the tops, so I cheat. But it works really well. So I'm just going to put some of the foil adhesive, and I'm going to use a foam roller. Okay, and I'm going to load it up. And I'm not going to load the whole brush. I'm just going to do it kind of on the end. And I'm just going to keep rolling it because I don't want a whole lot. But you can see, I don't know that y'all can, but if you try this yourself, you can see that where it's going. And what I'll do is I will already have the shirt ready. So while this is kind of tacking up, I'm hoping that we can have time. It will set up in time for me to add the waterfall foil. I just wanted y'all to be able to see the whole process instead of having everything done. At first, I was just going to have everything done and just uh, apply the foil, but I thought y'all might like to see this as well. And the other jacket I did, I really, it was so pretty, um, and I had also sewn some stuff on the front of it as well, um, but unfortunately, I outgrew or the jacket shrunk. We'll say the jacket shrunk. And y'all, I can't tell who's on, but uh, I appreciate everyone that's here. It really means a lot to me. Okay. Now, 
I'm gonna take and I'm gonna pull this up. And whenever I pull this up, I'm just gonna set this in a pan of water and I'll probably let it soak in uh, the Blue Dawn uh, overnight. And then I will take a scrub brush like this and I'll scrub all of that off and rinse it really well and then I'll hang it up and let it dry. So I'm gonna pull this off. Put it in the water. Okay, now I'm gonna set this over here and I really hope that it tacks up enough so that y'all can see me do that. Okay, now this is the shirt. I've already done it. And I've done this shirt to go with those pants. And I've done the same design of the circles and I'll show y'all that stencil here in just a second. Let me get this up here. And what is really cool about the um, Artsyville foil adhesive is you can put it on something and um, if you just set it aside, it will stay tacky for up to a year. So that's really cool. But it's a pretty large stencil. And that's just one little bit. I can't get the whole thing, I don't think. But it's a pretty good size stencil. I really like that. I think that would be pretty on the wall. And a little girl's room. Okay, now I'm going to take the, the teal. And whenever you're doing the foil, you always want to make sure that the ugly side goes down. You would think that the pretty side would go down. But it doesn't. Okay, and you just lay it down like that. And a lot of, most of the time we use one of these to apply it. It looks like it's gonna work pretty good on the shirt, but I wanna show y'all on the pants because the material was thicker. Is if you had, um, something that's pretty, like a knife, the edge of a knife, a butter knife or something like that. This is a Japan scraper and I've had these forever, but I am gonna have these in stock. Um, but when I just took and I started pushing that and I mean, it just, it got down in the little crevices because there's kind of a cre creases going across there and it really wasn't going in. So when I started putting it on with this, it worked perfect. And there's no sticky residue from the size or anything and like I said I'm gonna wash these tomorrow and I will report back and let everyone know how it turned out see how this is not absolutely all coming off so I'm gonna lay that back down and I'm gonna take the edge of that and it was by accident that I discovered that earlier today But you can even see the designer. I hope y'all can. I can't tell because I don't have my computer out here. But see the difference? How much more coverage that gave by doing it that way? And what I did is this is the right side of the shirt. So I done the right side and then I kind of done it at an angle on the pants going down the left leg. So it would, look, it would look like it was meant to be done that way. Sad thing is, is I don't know if I can get in those pants. Oh, that's just so pretty. I like that. Okay. That that really does a good job of transferring the foil onto the sides. And this one I didn't do, so all I have to do is just lay my foil back down. See how that just 
pick it right up. Very cool. All right. Let me see. You know what? I may go right back there. And see, there is still a lot of foil on this. So I will save this and use it on another project. You know, that would be cool, and I love hats. So that would be a good project to do on hats, maybe. And I got a new hat. My friend Sandy gave it to me. All right, there's that one. I really hope that the jacket is ready. It usually takes about 30 minutes, though, for it to fully pack. And I don't want to mess it up because I think it's really going to be pretty. I don't know. I may be pushing it a little bit. Um, let me see. I don't know if I could blow it dry maybe. Of course, I hate for y'all to hear that noise. But when you do live, you have to improvise. Oh, and for y'all in the area, I'm going to be doing a live demo on a piece of furniture at the Cotton Shed, formerly known as Blue Suede Shoes and Bryant, exit 123, uh, May the 19th, I believe. I think, I hope I have that date right. Uh, starting around 12 o'clock. And uh, if I have time, I'm also going to be showing how to use one of the rollers, maybe the croc roller. And the photograph is on the uh, event. It's on my page. Okay. This may not work, y'all, because I'm, I'm not sure. It may not be tacked up enough. But if not, you know what I will do? I will lay the stencil down tomorrow over it again and because I think I can match it up pretty well and resize and redo. So we're going to give it a whirl. You know what? I need to scoot that over so I'm not wasting. I sure hope that works. It is. The foils are really a lot of fun to work with. Um, we had a class here a while back where we did a mermaid. Oh, wow. That is really pretty. That is gorgeous. Okay, let me turn that around, y'all, where you can see it. What do you think? Isn't that pretty? And there's no sticky residue whatsoever from the size at all. So, um, you know what? I was going to wash this one right away, but I think I'm going to let it set. For a while but I will update y'all as soon as I know um, let me see if there was anything else that I needed to tell y'all not that I can think of but I will uh, tomorrow night after I get internet service I will give you all the links to everything um, or if I get a chance I will do it tomorrow I've got a full schedule tomorrow but uh, I appreciate all of y'all staying and watching and I hope I give y'all some inspiration to play. And um, I appreciate y'all very much. Y'all have a blessed day. Bye, y'all.